Hey YouTube, I bet you're wondering what the heck this thing is. Well, this week on Toy Review, I thought I might introduce my great-grandfather's homemade sugar. Just a second, I forgot to say, wow, sorry. Okay. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be called. But it says on the side, I don't know if you can see it or not. It actually says on the side, it looks like Cursage. And while doing a little research, I actually figured out that the Cursage is a real ship, just like this. And engraved on the bottom is actually my great grandfather my grandfather actually wrote I don't know if you can see it or not so let me just turn the light back on I can't I don't know if you can see that or not but right around here is actually engraved Created 2992 Gasper Pecorella. So my grandfather actually made this in 1992, which is six years before I was born. And this thing is so cool. It's, it's got like every little detail covered. It's got all these big sails. here. It's got anchors on each side. Oh, that's weird. Oh, here it is. Here's the port side anchor right here. I believe that's actually made of real metal. Here's the starboard side anchor and on both sides actually has a couple of holes that's supposed to represent the broadside cannons and there are some cannons up on the upper deck and I don't know if it was actually uh, supposed to be here or not, but there's actually a little metal propeller here that actually spins. Like that, like that. And, um, it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of great details. Like, um, like right over here, it's got these wooden boards. You can see that my grandpa, he actually made it pretty detailed. He must have had a very steady hand. And right here is the cabin. Let me try to angle it better so you can see it. Right there through the ropes. And unfortunately this was this flag was broken. But right here on the taller mast is another flag. And right here on the bow or the front is yet another mast. Or a flag, pardon me. And right here, I think it's supposed to be a steam tower. I'm not really sure. Maybe that's how it was. It used the uh, propeller. I don't know. But, um, you can see pretty much, I don't know if you can see, but pretty much every detail is covered here. There are even some movable parts. Which is pretty awesome. Unfortunately, like on most pirate ships, which I am actually a big fan of pirates, there is no figurehead on the front here. You can see. But other than that, every detail is covered. And, um, here, right here, it's actually got the steps to get up to the top deck. God, 
I love all the details, but these sails just makes it hard to see everything and stuff. But, um, uh, it's actually a pretty cool boat. This, I don't even know to, I don't even want to imagine how to explain how excited I got when my dad said he would give this to me. I dusted it off, I got, you know, every detail when I discovered it. Pretty cool boat. Pretty cool. Now, if you're not a person who's interested in ships or old world boats, then you're wasting your time if you're watching this. But, um, if you're a person who does like old world boats or big ships or blah, 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 then this is a video for you. Thank you for watching to our review episode 5. Again, I apologize for getting it late again, but I got it out. Got it late than never. Thanks for watching. Be truthful in your comments, just like on my karaoke video, and I'll see you next week.